Welcome to part B. It's a two-part series of sculpting, texturing, and sculpting, only this time we're gonna use the cementol instead of the mortar mix. So if you haven't seen part A, link up above, go see that one first, then come back to this video. So it's gonna be a similar video to part A where we're going to parge the wall, but we're also gonna do a nice big bump out over here, and then we're also going to glue this brick to the corner of this wall. An hour later, we're gonna take the bottom brick out and just watch the video. So let's get to it and let's make something cool. All right, we want the same kind of prep as we did with the mortar mix. We want it clean, free of loose debris, free of paint, free of oils and greases. And we want to make sure that we wet it down. Let's mix. So how does cementol differ from, from mortar mix? It's the same as far as it can go horizontal, it can go vertical without a bonding primer. But the main difference is the aggregate. Mortar mix has a, a play sand or an all-purpose sand size aggregate, so it can only go down to about a half of an inch. You can't get to a feathered edge. The cementol has a silica sand size aggregate. So you can go all the way down to zero, all the way down to a feathered edge with this guy, up to four inches thick. I'm gonna mix a half a bag today. Some of you were missing the Captain Morgan stance. Now I like to mix up the cementol just a little wetter than I would like it to be because this stuff is gonna set up as I work with it very fast. Don't be afraid to use the set control with this stuff either. That'll buy you about 15 to 20 more minutes of working time per bag. All right, just like in the last video, we're gonna use a 12 inch trowel and trusty bucket scraper. Go all the way down to the bottom, draw it straight up. Again, I'm putting my trowel directly over my knuckles like a little tabletop, taking my material, scraping it on there. Now that I've got the wall covered, now I wanna focus on smoothing it out and making it nice and even. Again, just like in the last video, I'm going on a nice shallow angle. I'm gonna let this set up for just a little bit. Then I'm gonna turn my attention to those two blocks that you've been wondering about. I'm kind of working the material into the pores of the substrate. I'm gonna take this block. 
put some shims in there and take this block and What in the f am I doing, you ask? In one hour's time, I am going to remove the bottom block and this block is going to stand up all on its own. On top of that, I'm going to stand on this brick and it's going to hold up my weight. True story. Wipe off my trowel real quick. Now I'm gonna go in for one last pass. It is very smooth at this point. Like, like skippy smooth. Now, you probably thought this was taking it one step further. <laughs> no, this is taking it one step further. I've got the product stiff enough now to where I can hang it vertically about two to three inches out without any kind of reinforcement, no foam, and no pins. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. The people out there that are familiar with this kind of stuff, you're getting nervous, right? So am I. I'm actually starting to lose the material because it's <laughs> it's setting up a lot quicker on me than I expected today. I got the sun beating down on me right now, so I probably should have used the set control. But that's okay, we're gonna do this. See, I'm just kind of rounding over. Again, keeping that nice shallow angle all the way through. Got my trowel just a little wet. Uh, I'm cheating a little. We are now at a good point where we could go ahead and rub this with a damp sponge and kind of give it uh, a little bit of a very fine texture. Since this has a, a silica sand size aggregate in it, it's going to be a very, it's going to be like a very fine sandpaper texture. See all these light spots? That's already setting rock solid on me. <laughs> That's how fast this material is. In fact, 
it's already getting very hot. So I'm gonna give this about 20, 30 more minutes. We're gonna take this bottom brick out and uh, go from there. about 45 maybe 50 minutes still got just a, like a little bit of setting up to do over here in the corner but uh I think we can do this Whoa! The wall's gonna come over, but the brick's not gonna fall. Not bad after only about 45, 50 minutes, huh? No bonding primer, no pins, no metal reinforcement whatsoever. We just prepped well and we used the rapid set product. We, we had our hiccups. Uh, I let the material get away from me a little bit, but I think in the end we, uh, we conquered, right? We got a nice silky smooth surface. The sky is the limit with applications like this. I want you guys to let your imaginations run free and, and just run with this. But uh, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with a half wall in my backyard, so... Uh, Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.